Sometimes you have numbers stored as text, and that means you can't do anything with them. You can't add them together. You can't use them in formulas in the same way. In this video, I'm going to show you a bunch of ways that you can fix it. Sometimes not all methods work, so that's why we're going to go through a lot of solutions. My name is David Nam, and I love talking about some spreadsheet features and other business tech that you're using. So let's get started. So in the View tab, I'm going to switch on Focus Cell. That's going to help us with this. So here, you can see that some of the numbers are left aligned. And if they're left aligned, that means that Excel usually thinks they're text. Not always, because you can manually set that as well, but usually that's what it means. Other times you'll know that they're text because they have this green triangle. And one of the methods is if you click on the drop down, you can choose convert to number and then it will switch it. But you don't always see that. For example, I don't see it for this number four. So we need some other methods. Another way to show fire, know if it's happening or not, is if you select a couple of cells and you look here. If the sum says two when there's clearly a five as well, then it's not currently working. Same here, it just says two. Sometimes you'll get punctuation that accidentally imports and those are things that you might want to change. So let's look at some of the methods. So one of them is a function called equals value. Value will convert a text string that represents a number to a number. And if I do this on just a number, it will have no effect. But if I drag it down, then it will work for the text values. But again, this doesn't always work. So I'm going to give you a bunch of other ways that you can look at it. So you can also do a formula by adding zero. So if I do equals this one plus zero, this will just show me like that. And this will convert it to an actual number. Another formula I could do is equals minus minus this one. That's one I use sometimes in a formula to convert a true or false value into a zero or one value. So minus minus is the same as plus. Or you could also do equals this one multiplied by one. And that will also convert it to a number, which is the same number. But if you don't want to add a couple of columns, you just wanted to do it in place, you can also do a paste special option. So if I type in one into a cell and I was to copy this cell, I could select all of these cells and then right click here and choose to paste special. And I'm going to choose multiply. So keep it as all and multiply and then press OK and it will convert it. It hasn't worked for the comma ones. In fact, none of these are working for the comma one because that is another delimiter, which is not actually a number value. So I'm going to select this column and I'm going to copy it again and I'm going to paste it two more times. So control V to paste here, control V to paste here. And this one in the data tab, I'm going to use something called text to columns. And I'm going to press next. I want to do a comma. That's going to be my delimiter. And note that if I drag down, the four is going to be in the second column. And in the top one, I actually have a formula that is converting it into text. So if I click finish, let's see what happens. The four has worked. This is now a number, but it's gone to the second column. But I can cut and paste and get that working. And this is a formula equals text that is now broken because this is now stored as text. So this method worked with the other ones, but not with this one. There is another way that you can do a data transformation, and that is using Power Query. So I'm going to call this column data. And if I select it and I choose the data tab and I choose from table or range, ask you as a data for your table, press OK. So if I click on here and I choose the number type that I want, either decimal or whole number or currency, if that's what you're using, then it will actually convert it. This is an error. So you might need to use the replace values beforehand to make sure that you pick up any extra punctuation. But essentially, that is how you can do it. So I love Power Query. I have a whole bunch of videos on them because it is such a transformational tool. So I will highly encourage you to try watching them and I'll link to one in this video. So press close and load from Power Query. It will create a new worksheet with your data. It also will show you here that you have errors, but this can be a way to convert it, as I said before. All right, well, there's a bunch of different ways. Hopefully one of them will work for your situation, if not more. Type something in the comments if you have anything to say. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.